All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Vic, aka Mr. Glass, and I got one for y'all, bro. This is going to be my de facto guard build on NBA 2K23. And the reason why I'm going to label this the best small guard build in the game is because there's a lot of guards running around that are 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, and if you decide you don't want to join that, because I personally don't think that that's going to be the wave all season. If you decide you don't want to join that and you want to go with a regular size point guard, you know, like a Steph Curry or a, or a John Wallish kind of size guard or maybe a Damian Lillard size guard, this is the one for you. Alright, so let me first introduce this style of build that I'm going to make. A lot of times when I do this build system stuff, I kind of walk you guys through the build as I'm upgrading the attributes. This one's going to be a bit different. I've already made the build, and I'm going to walk you through the attributes as it's already done, so you can see it on the screen for longer. If you guys appreciate this style more, make sure you let me know in the comment section and make sure you pop that like button because I think this might be better for you guys because it allows you to see the build for longer. Also, regarding this build, this is not a twos build. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of guards that are being 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, You're not really trying to guard those at this height and this weight. So definitely make sure this is a threes or a rec build. But without further ado, let's get into the builder. Let me show you guys what I've created, and hopefully you can enjoy it as much as I do. I run a variation of this build with more dunk, but I think a lot of you guys would like this one better with a higher three ball and more three. So let's get into it, man. Whoops, I, I'm not changing the name. I'm not changing the name. All right, so six foot three, 170 pounds, 68 on the wingspan, or 6.8 on the wingspan, 6.8 inches. Uh, you can go whatever build shape you want. I personally prefer built, but that's just because I like it aesthetically. You can choose whatever you want. And here we go. Uh, we got these two stats because we brought driving dunk to an 84. So we got a 93 ball. We got a 75 free throw to help you green and wreck. Because I'm hearing that that's a bit of a problem for people. So we're going to go ahead and put that there for y'all. We have a 75 pass accuracy. You got to have above a 70. I think 75 is ideal. Um, it's not going to burn your attribute cost too much. And it's also going to allow you to pass the ball with some speed. You got a little playmaking. Uh, you, can, you can add like special delivery stuff like that if you really want to. Um, we have a 90 ball handle. In a 92 speed with ball. Very important. Your speed with ball. It controls a lot of your ability to uh, burst. And it also controls what type of handles you can have. As you guys will see. Uh, when you go into the animation store. Basically your speed with ball is responsible for a bunch of animations. So you want to have high speed with ball if you can. We don't know what 2K is going to come out with next. Uh, so we don't know what tiers they're going to need. I just put both of those into the 90s. You got 80 perimeter defense. Again, you can play defense. You just don't want to have to play defense in the paint. You got an 85 steal, and that is... Uh, excuse me, yeah. You got an 85 steal, and that's good enough to give you glove, silver. One of the best defensive badges in the game on the perimeter. You got a 90 speed. You got an 85 acceleration. We don't really care about our strength. I think we got that from defensive rebound, maybe. Um, irrelevant stat, pretty much for us. We're not gonna we're not gonna outmuscle anybody on this build. Seventy two vertical needed to get the contact dunks. Gotta have those if you want to be able to dunk on people, obviously. And so we're fulfilling the attribute cap for that. And we have a ninety one stamina. The ninety one stamina is gonna allow us to be able to utilize our handles for days when we get it. And things like that. Just a little bit longer. You know. But there's not really much difference between a 91 and a 99. So I didn't really think you guys really cared that much to max that stat out. When you can just have it at the same value pretty much. And get the same result. So. We'll go on with the build. I'm going to show you guys takeovers next. We're going to go with the team rating 
play take, I'm told that this takeover will actually help you guys as well. So it's not just a teammate boost, it also boosts yourself, which I think is very key. Also, we're going to go spot up precision, which means any standstill shot, you can green at a higher rate. It's a little bit easier. We love that. We're going to continue on. I'm going to show you guys the badges that I would use and what badges I would core. Now, this is Shades of Damian Lillard. I mentioned him earlier. Really think that's spot on for 2K to tell us that. Uh, we're going to test her out. I'm going to show you guys the badges and then we'll get y'all up out of here so that way you can enjoy this build as much as I do. I have, like I said, I have a variation of it. A little bit higher dunk, a little bit more strength, but less uh, speed with ball. I, I really think I should have done it this way if I had it to do over. So that's why I'm giving you guys this version. Alright, so we're going to go Giant Slayer and that. We're going to go that and that. We're going to Core Fearless Finisher. So that way we have more badges to work with. We're going to go there. We're going to go right here. You're not really going to see too many guys that are smaller than you. We're going to go Bat Nail Punisher, which I think is a very uh, interesting badge to be. Having a 6-3, but it allows us to, so that's what we're going to pick. Next, we're going to do things a little weird. Alright, so we're going to go guard up on gold. We're going to go comeback kid there. We're going to go there. Alright, so now, limitless silver. We're going to core limitless And that allows us to put on Agent 3, so which is what we're going to do. So this is your fades. This allows you to shoot from deep. And you guys should know what Amp does. It's basically the new tireless shooter. I would not say tireless scorer. That's a mistake that I've seen some content creators say. It is tireless shooter. If you guys remember that from a few 2Ks ago. Um, what that does is it allows you to shoot the ball low stamina without it impacting your ratings it does however still impact your timing that's an important caveat to note all right we got 25 of these things man so we, we got a lot we can do with this i'm gonna show you guys what i would do okay we're gonna go handles for days we're gonna go, oh we can't we got a core or something but we'll, we'll take care of that in a second all right so we got ankle breaker Alright, so I'm going to core. You know what? I'm actually going to do. I'm actually going to take that off. I'm going to core this. Oh, you have to, have to put it on before you can core it? That's interesting. I didn't know you had to do that. Alright, so we're going to go with those two right there. I mean, I would like to get this one. I mean, you could switch this for this. If you really wanted to, what we would do is go like that, and then go like that. I mean, you could do that if you wanted to, honestly. Wouldn't blame you. I personally prefer Clamps Breaker. A lot of people like Killer Combos, so that's that's up to y'all. All right, we're going to go Menace Gold. We're going to pick Dodger Silver and Rebound Chaser Bronze. We're going to go with Glove on Silver. We're going to core that. We're going to go Clamps Bronze. Then we're going to add our off-ball pest. That's an important badge this year. Dudes love the decks. That's one of the, the things that I've noticed most about this game. Alright, so those are all the badges. That's everything you guys need to know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. Again, make sure you pop the like button if you prefer this style with the badges and the build already laid out for you when I see, as soon as I hit the button. If you want me to go back to the old style of adding up the attributes with you, that's up to y'all as well. But let me know in the comment section, alright? Don't break nothing, guys. I'm out. Enjoy the build.